So are you considering Sheraton Vistana Resort in Orlando, Florida for your next trip to the parks? Well, let's go on a walking tour right after this. Hello and welcome to Destination Timeshare. I'm Jeremy and before we get started on this walking tour, hey there's a beautiful fountain there behind me, but before we get started on this walking tour of the beautiful Sheraton Vistana Resort here in Orlando, Florida, I just want to let you know on this channel I like to provide my knowledge, tips and advice to help you get the most from your timeshare ownership. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to start walking around this resort. I'm at the main entrance here at 535 and uh, we're going to start walking around this resort, take you through most of the phases. They do have some sections closed off, and I will show you that when I get to them. But uh, yeah, we're going to take a look around at this very expansive, very large, actually 1,500 units, or just over 1,500 units at this resort. And we'll try and take you through most of it. So let's get started. Okay, so as I mentioned, I'm here at the main entrance. It's an extremely bright, sunny afternoon, so... I apologize if there's some lens flare at times, but uh, let's get going here. Here is the main check-in area. When you come in here, it's on the left-hand side, the main lobby. It's actually pretty nice inside. So yeah, that's where you go to register for your room. Back behind here is that fountain we looked at just a minute ago. And the main road out there as well, which is quite busy. But uh, yeah, there is the main lobby registration check-in area. Let's keep going. Okay, so Sheraton Vistana Resort is actually made up of nine different phases here in Orlando, built over the course of probably what was, if not over 30 years. So you'll see some different architectural styles as we go through. You can definitely tell which ones are older and which ones are newer. So we're gonna keep walking in here. We're walking up of the main road towards the security gate that goes into what is kind of the south section here but i'm going to show you that section that's closed off as well just from the outside because they won't let me in okay so as you can see here this is the main security gate for the south section up there is the security gate for the what is kind of like the north section that is where lakes and fountains villages are i guess you could say so that is closed so i will not be able to go in there and i will not be able to show you that section at all unfortunately and uh, yeah so that's where we came from main entrance down there we're going to head inside we're in cascades that's probably what we'll end up seeing first okay so we have here essentially just a parking lot and over there with some glare you can see a number of shuttle vans those are probably for their theme park shuttle service which honestly i don't know right now we are in a pandemic i'm not sure if they're actually operating that at the moment and guys also got his boat parked here but uh yeah they do provide shuttle service as well that is kind of a cool feature if you're not wanting to rent a car or you don't bring your own car they have shuttle service i think there is a charge for it though all right so the first main village or section you come to when you turn in is cascades and these are all pretty large buildings four and five story buildings all with elevators so that is a pretty cool feature not all of the phases here have elevators and we'll kind of point those out as we go along here we're coming up to kind of the uh what is essentially the sales office and recreation building here in the cascade section and here dribbling back there there's a basketball court and as we walk up here there's also the Cascades Fitness Center up here on the left hand side. Yep, there is the Fitness Center for this section anyway. They have several of them on property. And there's a playground up there, kids playing on it. But yeah, the uh, landscaping here is pretty magnificent. It's well matured landscaping because this resort is fairly old. So great landscaping, lots of ponds and lakes and fountains. Let's keep walking through Cascades. Okay, so here's the Cascades pool. They're starting to rope it off for some reason. Not exactly sure what the deal is there. 
but uh, putting caution tape around one section of it for some reason. Maybe they're roping the whole thing off. I'm not too sure. So over here is the uh, one of the hot tubs closed off for the pandemic. I'm not really sure why they haven't reopened these. A lot of other resorts have, so it's certainly not a government ordinance. But uh, yeah, beautiful big pool here. Not sure what's going on, why it's getting roped off, but maybe there was an accident. Okay, so the Cascades Pool is actually home to Castaways Bar and Grill here. But uh, I did find out why the uh, pool was being closed off. It's because it's a Caddyshack moment. It's no big deal. Somebody had an accident in the pool and they're having to shut it down for, I guess, proper cleaning. But yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. Make sure your kids are potty trained or have swim diapers on if they're going to use the pool. Because now, apparently one person just ruined it. Ruined all the fun for everybody. Let's keep looking around here. We're going to keep walking through Cascades. And then we'll hit some of these other sections coming up. Okay, so we're going to continue here through Cascades. And just look a little bit at some of the landscaping. And then we'll check out the springs section next. I actually got a big bird over here. Egret, I believe. Where is it at? There it is, over there. But uh, yeah, so lots of wildlife around here. You see lots of ducks, lots of birds, turtles in the ponds, all kinds of stuff. But yeah, these are some pretty big buildings. Four and five stories each. Hey, there's even a squirrel down here. Look at that. So lots of wildlife. He's not very scared of me, is he? <laughs> There he goes. We've got a couple of ducks down here sometime. Goose or a duck, I don't know. I'm not uh, I'm not up on my Florida birds, I guess. But yeah, they also have plenty of gazebos as well. Many of the lakes have a gazebo that sticks out into it. You can just go out there, sit and relax, maybe enjoy a beverage. That one actually has a couple birds sitting on it as well. Okay, so now we're making our way over here into the springs section. Unfortunately, they still have this pool here closed due to the ongoing pandemic, mainly probably because of occupancy. Maybe it doesn't make sense to keep all the pools open. But yeah, this is the only pool on property other than over in that completely closed off section that's still closed. So just kind of a small pool over here in springs. Also, mainly three-story buildings here as well. So yeah, this is actually a nice little quiet section. <laughs> right now, I guess, because there's nobody here, it might be a little bit uh, noisier in peak time and when the resort is at capacity. And something else that's neat about these three-story buildings here in Springs is they actually have an exit of the unit or of the villa out into the main central kind of courtyard area, I guess you could call it. So they have an entrance at the back or at the front where you would park and then an entrance out here as well. So easy access to the pools, but keep in mind three floors, no elevators, but the stairs don't look too daunting. So we're coming around here on the side, a lot of lens flare there, but just to point out the Activity Center here, Springs Fun Center, currently closed. <laughs> it's getting to be a trend here, isn't it? But uh, yeah, pretty big activity center here. And over here also is a another playground, mainly just for this section. So lots of playgrounds around as well. Another one of those buildings that's building four and five here in Springs. Coming up here on a gas grill in the spring section. That's one of the nice things that all of these phases or villages all have gas grills in them as well. So definitely nice. This is like kind of a nice little oasis out here in this cluster of buildings that makes up part of springs. Some neat little bridges that go across the water. 
And there's even a nice little waterfall up there as well. So now that you're taking a look at springs, we're actually here at what is the south entrance, the south safety gate or entry gate here at Sheraton Basana Resort. They can essentially have three ways in and out. That north gate that we started out at, this one here, and then one over on Meadow Creek Drive as well. So and a good thing there's springs. Some of the buildings we just came from looking at. We're going to head over here now to the Palms section. Okay, so while we're heading over here towards Palms, just want to let you know if you're liking this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you actually want to see another video, I'm going to be doing another video in detail on all of the different phases here at Cheriton Vistana Resort. So if you want to see that, when it becomes available, you'll see a link right up here. So be sure to check that out as well. And if you could, it is greatly appreciated if you could share this video. It really helps out the video and it helps out the channel Destination Timeshare as well. So definitely appreciate you sharing these videos, share them with your friends, share them with your family, even your favorite traveling companions. Okay, so we're on our way over here to the Palms section. And on my right hand side, we have the court section. We'll walk through that probably at the end. And over there is actually the falls section. We'll take a look at that after we walk through Palms. So I noticed this is probably the most calming and relaxing phase or village of this resort. It's just so nice and peaceful back here. Nice and quiet. You have lots of vegetation growth. Kind of along through here, lots of palm trees. Just a really pretty section. So here is the pond or lake that is at the center of the palms section here at Sheraton Basana Resort. Just a beautiful place. Nice, calm, relaxing sound of that fountain over there. They actually have kind of some piers or docks that you can kind of just walk out on. There's actually a bird over there as well. And uh, yeah, you can kind of just come out here, relax. They don't have any benches. There might be one bench over there kind of around this pond, but it is a nice place to come just take a nice stroll around this beautiful oasis that is the palm section. Some more of those gas grills that I was referring to that each section has. Definitely a big plus. And uh, there's some nice air conditioning units. Those though, I'll tell you, they're pretty necessary here in Florida. Yeah, just a beautiful, beautiful section of the resort here in Palms. All right, so now as I head over here towards the Falls section, I just want to let you know we actually are staying in a two-bedroom unit here in Cascades. If you're interested in taking a look at that unit, check this out up here. There will be a link to that video where I give you a tour of what is actually a pretty nice unit here at Sheraton Vistana Resort in Orlando. Okay, so we're over here now in the Falls section. All two-story buildings over here. And just kind of another quiet and peaceful place out in the central area this lake that is surrounded by all the buildings nice and quiet there's actually kind of two sections here two falls you have this section here and then we're going to take a look at the one that's a little bit further on you see this green here it's not actually there's a bird flying away there this green is not actually algae it's uh blooms off of this tree over here that's just fallen into the pond here and kind of float up to the edge. So that's not uh, not algae, just flowers from that tree. Yeah, plenty of uh, Spanish moss growing here around the lake in these trees. Really quite serene. Okay, so here's the entryway side of these buildings. I don't know whether you call it the front or the back. I guess you'd call this the front. But yeah, this is where you go in. You can see no elevators, just stairs, but really it's just uh, one story here. So you need to go up a set of stairs, just one additional story, not too bad. And plenty of birds over there. Now, one thing to keep in mind when you're over here in the falls section, 
this is actually right up against Marriott's World Center. That there is the parking garage for Marriott's World Center. Pretty close here when you're over in Falls. And uh, we're going to take a walk in here into the courtyard area and take a look here in this kind of other section that makes up Falls. And this is probably why it gets its name. There's a waterfall in here. Obviously man-made. Of course, <laughs> it's not working right now. But yeah, we have a hammock over here and a couple more grills. So another gazebo out here, this one with a yellow brick road to it. Uh, not really, it's that same kind of tree letting down its blooms, I guess. So yeah, nice gazebo here, got a fan out here. And nice view of this lake and what would be the falls if they were operational. That's a little disappointing. Not sure how long those have not been working. But uh, yeah, nice pretty area here as well. Okay, so we're now going to head out of the falls section and we're going to head over to probably Spa. And we'll take a look at the pools along the way, some of the other pools that are available here at Sheraton Visadana Resort. As we're walking along the street here, we have the quartz phase over here. We're going to stop there last probably, but first we're going to head over to Spa. We're going to check out the super pool. Right on my left here is the falls pool. It's really the only one that kind of has a water slide, I guess. Obviously absent the lakes and fountains pools, which I can't go to, but in this section it is the only one that has a water slide and there's also a kids splash pad over there i'm not going to go in there because it's kind of noisy and there's lots of families in there but uh yeah another pool area here basketball courts the outpost is here as well looks like a little kind of snack and ice cream shop it is of course closed and over here is actually the pool for quartz. It's pretty small, probably the quietest pool on property. But yeah, just a small pool here for the quartz section. And you'll see here in a minute why quartz gets its name. Essentially 13 tennis courts. Nine of them are clay courts and the others are hard surface. You do have some pickleball courts here as well. So if that interests you, they looks like they've installed some pickleball courts. And there's a quick, easy guide to pickleball down here as well. These courts are closed from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. So basically 1 p.m. I guess they closed due to routine maintenance. Not sure why that is, just for an hour at lunchtime. It doesn't look like there's really a whole lot of maintenance to have to do here because I doubt that these get a lot of activity on them. But this is essentially why Quartz got its name. It was a tennis facility here. And we'll continue on towards what is the main activity center before we get over into the spa section. So this activities center is where you'll find the mini putt. It is nicely grown in, lots of vegetation, and it looks like it might be a little bit of fun. So yeah, a nice little mini putt here as well. And they probably also do some other activities from this activity center. But right now, most of the activities are shut down, unfortunately. And more of those tennis courts here. And then over here, where we're going to walk by here in a second is the spa pool what they consider the super pool here at Bastana Resort is spa pool kind of put some footage up here of that because I'm not going to go in there lots of families but I should have some footage to put up of that pool as well they have a very huge large hot tub as well as another small one in there and uh, of course they're closed at the moment there's another view of the mini golf course some nice hibiscus here as well. That's a beautiful flower, isn't it? So let's 
continue on, we're going to take a quick look at the buildings and sections of spa, and then we'll end up over here at Courts. And here we actually have one of the on-site restaurants. This is Zimmy's. I believe it serves as a sit-down restaurant and then also as the restaurant bar and grill for the spa pool, which is essentially just on the other side. So just a restaurant there and you know the drill, closed. Okay, so we're just going to take a quick walk into the spa section here. It actually is kind of two sections. You have a larger section and then just a smaller one on the other side of the road over there. But yeah, it's just a real nice, pretty, serene area here. Nice and quiet. You have a couple of ducks out there. And then again, one of those gazebos kind of sitting out over the pond with some nice tranquil waterfalls that are working. So that is a nice thing about here in Spa. Again, two story structures, essentially just four villas in each one, but a really nice section over here. Okay, so here we are still in Spa, We're just coming up towards that waterfall and gazebo over here, really nice and tranquil. I have to talk a little bit louder because it's a little noisy. But uh, one thing you'll notice, there are a couple of three-story buildings out here as well. And they have actually the stairways out of the back of the units as well, out to this kind of center section. Where you can kind of just come and walk around. Hopefully you can hear me over the water. Let's continue on. We're going to now head over towards Courts and take a look there. All right, so as we make our way over towards the Courts section, you'll see here this is another section of spa, just essentially what is four small buildings, which is then also surrounded by the, some of the buildings from Cascades. You have one through the trees here, and then you can see some of the other ones, maybe just over the rooftops there of spa. So we'll continue on and take a look at Courts. Okay, so as we're going over towards Courts over here, we're just gonna be passing by the marketplace here established in 1980. So if that gives you any indication of the age of the resort. So it is pretty centrally located. You have Courts over here. You have the falls over there spa right there and as i mentioned cascade back there as well and cascade is actually such a big section you got some of it over here too and something else to point out is here by the marketplace is where you'll also find the theme park shuttle stop there for pickups and drop-offs okay so as we head over towards the court section i really hope you're liking this video and if you want to see more videos about sheraton vistana resort i'm going to have an entire playlist from this trip of different videos about this resort. You can check out that playlist right up here. Be sure to check out all of the videos about what is actually a pretty fantastic resort here in Orlando. All right, so this is buildings one and two of Quartz. And you can see they kind of have a unique structure. The ground floor is essentially two bedroom villas, but the top floor, it's not a three story structure. Well, it is, but there's only one villa up there, what they call a townhouse style. Kind of has two level floor plan with a kind of a sleeping loft and bedrooms upstairs as well. So essentially this bottom floor is just a two bedroom and then up there is a two bedroom as well. Kind of a unique layout and really the only one kind of like it here at the resort. Okay, so here is the quartz section. It's kind of the only section that doesn't surround a pond or a lake. So it's kind of, in my opinion, it's kind of drab. The balcony or patios look like they're kind of small here. This, you kind of just have some nice views of the courtyard area. And there's some more grills over here for the court section. Yeah, this section is just kind of, there's not a whole lot to it. No pool, they have their pool, but it's back there where we looked earlier. So nothing to really look out at and look into. And in some cases you might actually be looking across into somebody else's villa okay so there you have it a walking tour of this beautiful resort here at sheraton vistana in orlando and if you like this video 
please be sure to give it a thumbs up and to see more videos about Sheraton Vistana Resort and Timeshare, check out the description box below in what to watch next. For sure, for another video about Sheraton Vistana Resort, check out this one right up here and YouTube. They think you'll also like that one down there. Be sure to subscribe. You can do so by clicking on my picture right here. Hit that notification bell. And until next time, the best destination is always a timeshare.